Area Studies, Wikipedia Article Audio Area studies are interdisciplinary fields of research and scholarship pertaining to particular geographical, national-slash-federal, or cultural regions. The term exists primarily as a general description for what are, in the practice of scholarship, many heterogeneous fields of research, encompassing both the social sciences and the humanities. Typical area study programs involve history, political science, sociology, cultural studies, languages, geography, literature, and related disciplines. In contrast to cultural studies, area studies often include diaspora and emigration from the area. Interdisciplinary area studies became increasingly common in the United States of America and in Western scholarship after World War II. Before that war American universities had just a few faculty who taught or conducted research on the non-Western world. Foreign area studies were virtually non-existent. After the war, liberals and conservatives alike were concerned about the U.S. ability to respond effectively to perceived external threats from the Soviet Union and China in the context of the emerging Cold War, as well as to the fallout from the decolonization of Africa and Asia. History Controversy within the field In this context, the Ford Foundation the Rockefeller Foundation, and the Carnegie Corporation of New York convened a series of meetings producing a broad consensus that to address this knowledge deficit, the U.S. must invest in international studies. Therefore, the foundations of the field are strongly rooted in America. Participants argued that a large brain trust of internationally oriented political scientists and economists was an urgent national priority. There was a central tension, however, between those who felt strongly that, instead of applying Western models, social scientists should develop culturally and historically contextualized knowledge of various parts of the world by working closely with humanists and those who thought social scientists should seek to develop overarching macro-historial theories that could draw connections between patterns of change and development across different geographies. The former became area studies advocates, the latter proponents of modernization theory. The Ford Foundation would eventually become the dominant player in shaping the area studies program in the United States. In 1950 the foundation established the prestigious Foreign Area Fellowship Program, the first large-scale national competition in support of area studies training in the United States. From 1953 to 1966 it contributed $270 million to 34 universities for area and language studies. Also during this period, it poured millions of dollars into the committees run jointly by the Social Science Research Council and the American Council of Learned Societies for Field Development Workshops, Conferences, and Publication Programs. Eventually, the SSRCACLS Joint Committees would take over the administration of FAFP. Other large and important programs followed Ford's. Most notably, the National Defense Education Act of 1957, renamed the Higher Education Act in 1965, allocated funding for some 125 university-based area studies units known as National Resource Center programs at U.S. universities, as well as for foreign language and area studies fellowships for graduate students. Meanwhile, Area studies also developed in the Soviet Union. Fields Since their inception, area studies have been subject to critiques including by area specialists themselves. Many of them alleged that because area studies were connected to the Cold War agendas of the CIA, the FBI, and other intelligence and military agencies, 
participating in such programs was tantamount to serving as an agent of the state. Some argue, that there is the notion that U.S. concerns and research priorities will define the intellectual terrain of area studies. Others insisted, however, that once they were established on university campuses, area studies began to encompass a much broader and deeper intellectual agenda than the one foreseen by government agencies, thus not American-centric. Arguably, one of the greatest threats to the area studies project was the rise of rational choice theory in political science and economics. To mock one of the most outspoken rational choice theory critics, Japan scholar Chalmers Johnson asked, why do you need to know Japanese or anything about Japan's history and culture if the methods of rational choice will explain why Japanese politicians and bureaucrats do the things they do? Institutions Following the demise of the Soviet Union, philanthropic foundations and scientific bureaucracies moved to attenuate their support for area studies, emphasizing instead interregional themes like development and democracy. When the Social Science Research Council and the American Council of Learned Societies, which had long served as the national nexus for raising and administering funds for area studies, underwent their first major restructuring in 30 years, closing down their area committees, scholars interpreted this as a massive signal about the changing research environment. Fields are defined differently from university to university, and from department to department, but common area studies fields include Due to an increasing interest in studying translocal, transregional, transnational, and transcontinental phenomena, a Potsdam-based research network has recently coined the term trans-area studies. Other interdisciplinary research fields such as women's studies, disability studies, and ethnic studies are not part of area studies but are sometimes included in discussion along with it. Some entire institutions of higher education are devoted solely to area studies such as School of Oriental and African Studies, part of the University of London, or the Tokyo University of Foreign Studies in Japan. At the University of Oxford, the School of Interdisciplinary Area Studies School of Interdisciplinary Area Studies, Oxford, and St. Anthony's College specialize in area studies, and hosts a number of postgraduate teaching programs and research centers covering various regions of the world. Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, is the only institution with immense contribution towards popularizing area studies in India. An institution which exclusively deals with area studies is the GIGA in Germany. Additionally, Lund University in Sweden offers the largest Asian Studies Master's program in Northern Europe and is dedicated to promoting studies related to South Asia through its SAS Net. School of Interdisciplinary Area Studies, Oxford